Hi friends! So today I'm actually going to do an unboxing slash mystery bag opening. I don't know if I'll open all of this stuff in this video, but I'm super excited. I've tried to get the hauls filmed as fast as possible because I really want to open things. It is almost my birthday, so this is like a little presents to myself and I'm so excited. So if you want to see what's in all this stuff, let's get started so if you guys want to know where i got any of this stuff i'll try my best to link the hauls below or in the i cards above just because all of this stuff did come from different places and were put in different hauls but i will try my best so the first thing i'm going to start with is this amazing squishies poop collection i just recently picked these up and i've been so curious to see what they're like so i'm going to go ahead and start with this oh yay okay so this is a lot harder than i thought it is definitely a slow rise but it's like pretty thick oh and i already tore it or it's coming apart this doesn't seem like something a child would be able to play with because it's already ripping but as a cute decoration piece i like it i definitely thought it would be gray but it is green for some reason i thought i had that one at first and that's one i didn't want because of the color but it is supposed to be speedy the sloth he's cute but obviously i wouldn't mess with it too much because it's already tearing but like i said as a decoration piece it's not too bad it does say it was made in china it kind of smells like peanut butter kind of weird but there's the first thing. The next thing I am so super excited about, I have been waiting months and months and months to open these. And I thought as a little birthday present to myself that I would do it in this unboxing. So here I have a 16 pack of the Real Little Shopkins with four hidden surprises. It does say that there are eight Real Littles and eight mini packs inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and then we'll take a look. So before, I throw anything away I really wanted to point this out because I think it's so cute I didn't realize until I took off the back and that I see these little springs that I realized it's supposed to be like a vending machine I don't know how I didn't notice that but here's like where you would put the money the screen the numbers where you would type what you want and then literally there's numbers right there so that's a really cute touch and we'll keep opening And so what was actually really fun about these big packs is that when we were in the store, me and my sister, we went through all of them to see which one had more of the little characters that we actually liked. And I think that was fun about getting these because you could kind of guarantee that you were at least going to get a whole pack that you liked or more than one that you liked. But it still has the fun of the mystery packs. Also, what I was looking at when I was trying to pick out the pack is I wanted the most as possible that are the hard plastic versus the cardboard. Um, just because I think these will last a lot longer than the like the cardboard ones. Um, just because obviously it's paper and this is some sort of thick plastic.
Okay. The next thing we are gonna open is this Angry Birds mystery barrel. Hmm. Wow, this is a lot smaller than I thought it'd be. I don't know who this is. It looks like I have Debbie. Um, I'm not her sure who she is, but yeah, okay. Like I said, she is so much smaller than I thought she'd be. So we'll just put her there. She'll stand up there. So now we're gonna open our Lala Loopsy mystery button. And we're gonna see who we have. I've opened several of these before. So I don't know exactly who I need because there's a whole bunch of them. Oh my goodness, I love her. That is so different. We're gonna go ahead and open an LOL Winter Globe. Again, I've opened several of these, so let's hope we get something different. All right, so let's get this baby out of here. I think I already know who we have, but. Oh my goodness, look at him. I love it, because I believe this is the only boy in this series. His name is Soldier Boy. Very cute. I did not think I wanted him when I first saw him on the checklist, but he is so freaking cute. Look at that. I love him and he has gold sparkles in his hair so let's go ahead and get him dressed all right so there he is all dressed up i don't really like him with this thing on and it was super hard to put on but i figured i'd put it on because it's part of his completed look i absolutely love him i think he's cute like i said i didn't think i'd like him but he's definitely definitely a cutie so we'll just put him in his stand oh this stand obviously no wonder why i couldn't stand up Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna open for this video is this Not Enough Surprise Series 1. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and then we will take a look. we have her outfit very cute it's some shorts with a little denim shirt tied around it or not denim it's denim shorts with a plaid shirt tied around the waist very very cute I love that and a little shirt that says misunderstood oh cute and then we have her boots oops okay so they are black platforms with the Union Jack. Very, very cute. Very cute. And then we have our palm. I believe this is a lamb, a sheep, something. Comes with a clip that even has the ears.
here she is she is beautiful oh my goodness look at her oh my god i love love her hair um i think it being taped the way it was it kind of made her hair messy and i don't want to brush it out because i love the curls but look how long her hair is and her hat matches the little palm i love her and let's see so here's her tag like a beanie baby her name is mina moody birthday may 24th it says i don't want to talk about it very very cute oh my goodness i love her so let's go ahead and get her dressed There she is all done so for mine since the hair was just all over the place it was really hard to work with and her clothes just seem a little too small like they just don't fit this shirt looks like it's gonna pop off it was so hard to get the velcro to stick like her booty be too big but other than that she is really cute if i can figure out how to manage her hair because look at that i think it would be very cute so i absolutely love her for the first one of these that i'm unboxing i really do like her she's really heavy the quality seems good even though you can't bend her legs to like sit her down it's very cute i think as a collector's item i absolutely love her okay so she's cute this is the only type of doll stand i have a little big but it helps maintain her crazy crazy hair but yeah i absolutely love her she's cute okay so that's absolutely everything that i opened today i think they are all super cute i can't really pick my favorite it's definitely between mina and then soldier boy who is so very cute i do love the shopkins this is probably my least favorite thing but you know out of everything i absolutely loved it so down in the comments you guys let me know which one was your favorite which one you would want and which one you wouldn't want if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to comment like and subscribe that way you can keep up with my content and I'll be back with another unboxing very soon. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends!